welcome back to Cranking Out Crafts. My name's Jay Flo, and today we're gonna to be showing you a new product from Japan, exclusively at our Ben Franklin in Mapuna Puna. And this is decoupage all-purpose medium, and we will be combining it with the decoupage film and creating beautiful bags like this with simple things like napkins. So we look forward to showing you how to do this easy, easy project. So today's project, we will be working on these deco tish bags. And what that means is we are actually using napkins, decorative napkins and applying them on these bags, canvas bags. So the supplies that you will need are an iron, dry iron, and this right here is decoupage film. Decoupage film. Also canvas bag and or any type of bag. We're using a canvas bag today. And then a napkin, paper napkin. And also the decoupage, all purpose decoupage glue. We're using this glue today because you need this when you use the paper napkin. Okay, so we will get started. And the first thing that you will do is take a piece of painter's tape or you could even take washi tape and you're gonna put it on the back side of the napkin and this allows it and makes it really easy for you to peel back the layers of the napkin. There's actually three layers on a typical napkin and we wanna get to that top layer that has the most ink on it. And there we go. So this is the top layer of the napkin. Okay, so once we have completely peeled the napkin and gotten to that top layer with the most ink on it, you can iron the napkin on the back side is what we're doing now. And that's just to help get all the creases out. And again, this is a dry iron that we're using. You don't want to use any steam with the iron. Dry iron. In a very hot setting, too. All right, we're layering it. We're putting it um, on parchment paper. Parchment paper is just to um, help the it not stick to the iron. Okay, so the parchment allows the paper not to stick. And now we are putting the decoupage film face down on the back side of the napkin and then pressing firmly around the napkin. You can see we're pressing it down and then lifting up. Pressing down just for a few seconds. This is so the film can adhere in all places evenly and you get a lot of heat on the napkin. Again, the parchment paper, you can see if the deco film was hanging over the napkin at any part, it might get on your um, on your ironing board. We don't want that to happen, so we use that parchment paper. All right, now we've flipped it over. We've got the parchment paper on top now of our project and evenly spreading the heat with the dry iron. This is so we just get a really good bond. All right, set the parchment paper aside.
And now we will grab our scissors and just kind of place it on the bag where you want the picture to sit. Cut out the image that you want. It's nice because uh, the deco film has made our napkin a little bit firm so it's really easy to cut. All right. In the past I've used something called Heat and Bond but this product is actually much better than Heat and Bond. You'll be able to even wash this after. You won't want to dry it but you can wash it with no problem. All right, making sure we get a really nice clean cut. And then place it. Then there is a backing that you will easily peel off. And it may be a little bit tacky on that back side. That is sticky stuff that will be adhering onto the bag. Okay, now that we have it placed, we put our parchment paper back on top and then place our dry hot iron. Press firmly for about seven to 10 seconds. And we're just moving right along down to the bottom. All right. And you want to take your time on this part just to make sure it adheres onto that bag and that surface. Okay, remove the parchment paper and you'll check to see that it's on there nicely. And then right now what we're doing is just pushing it back and forth. We're cooling it off. So you want the surface to be cool. You don't want it to be hot anymore from that hot iron before we do the next step. All right. Feels good. Okay, now once our bag is cool, we're going to apply the all-purpose decoupage medium. And again, this is exclusively from Japan and sold at only our Ben Franklin craft store in Mapuna Puna. And again, the bag is cold. This decoupage all-purpose will make the bag washable and waterproof. Uh, you will not be able to dry it, but you can wash it. Okay, so we'll get started and we will just pour out a little bit of your medium. We've got this nice little palette paper right here <laughs> that we've set aside. And we will put a generous amount all over the top of the napkin and just barely putting it just slightly over not too far over, but just slightly over to help that bond over the edge and then all over the top of that napkin. Once we have applied over the entire surface, we are then going to put a cool, a, like a hair dryer on the cool setting and blow it on there just to dry it, again on the cool setting to dry it. It's also a good idea if you put it in front of an air conditioner or a cool fan for a half an hour if you can. This helps to take the tackiness away. A lot of times you'll notice when you use decoupage mediums that it might feel tacky afterwards, but if you put it in front of a cool fan for maybe half an hour, or I've learned even in the refrigerator after it's dry, if you put it in the refrigerator, it will somehow take that tackiness away. 
So that's a really good tip. All right, we're just gonna continue putting the decoupage film, I'm sorry, the decoupage all purpose all over the top of this and we'll come right back for that next step. All right, so we are going to turn on the hair dryer on the lowest setting and uh, on the cool setting and dry this until, until it's dry and then put it in a cool fan area for about half an hour um, to take that tackiness out. Now again, we wanna remind you that the all-purpose Mod Podge here from Japan will make this waterproof. We do have another decoupage basic mat that's available if you put it over the entire surface, um, but that will only seal it in. It will not make it waterproof. So if you wanna be able to wash this product, you'll want to use the all purpose decoupage. And the other great thing that I absolutely love about this is once you have this deco tish on the bag, it actually looks like it's part of the bag, like it was screen printed. It's beautiful. So we hope you've enjoyed this segment of Cranking Out Crafts and come in to our Mapuna Puna store and check out this new product.